Welcome back to part two of our video. Here we're going to replace the clutch master cylinder on this 2004 Acura TSX with the genuine Honda part. Now to get access and more room, we're going to need to remove this black cover underneath the steering column. Here we're using a pair of needle nose to remove this pin lock to remove the clutch master cylinder rod from the clutch pedal. Use the pair of angle needle nose to push the clutch pedal pin out. Remove the 12mm bolt at the top of the clutch pedal bracket. Next is to remove the 12mm nut to the right side of the clutch pedal. To get to this next 12mm nut, we remove the fuse cover along with removing the two 10mm bolts that hold the fuse box in to just give us that little extra room. Then we needed to remove the 12mm nut to the left side of the clutch pedal. We had to kind of push the clutch pedal bracket to the right to get better access to that 12mm nut. Then we remove both fender covers. We are removing the two 10 millimeter bolts for this fuse box to give us just a little bit more room. All sway bars had to be removed. Here is a 10 millimeter bolt for the drive-by wire box connected to the sway bar. Two 17 millimeter bolts to remove the windshield wipers. Yep. Remove both windshield yep. wipers. Now remove the windshield wiper cover. Now remove the four 12 millimeter bolts that hold the strut bar. Remove any clips or wiring connected to the strut bar. Now pull out the strut bar. We are removing the 10 millimeter bolt that holds the clutch reservoir. Here I'm pushing the clutch reservoir underneath. So I can feed it under the brake master cylinder. Once everything was out of our way, we ended up pushing the clutch master cylinder and the clutch reservoir underneath the brake master cylinder. So by carefully pushing the clutch master cylinder underneath the brake master, the clutch line had to be bent. So we made sure not to put too much of a bend or kink on this line. So with the clutch master cylinder pushed through, we went ahead and loosened the 10 millimeter line with a flare nut wrench along with the 17 millimeter wrench holding the 17 millimeter nut. Once the 10 millimeter nut was loosened, we used the regular 10 millimeter wrench. Here we were able to loosen it by our hand. Once the line was taken out, we were able to slide the clutch master cylinder out from underneath. OEM part. Factory one we just took out. So to get this out, we're going to need to pop off this pin. Upon reviewing this video, I just realized you can pop up this pin while this clutch master cylinder is still in the car. That way you wouldn't have to bend the clutch line pushing this clutch master cylinder underneath the brake master cylinder. Clean this guy up a little bit. Use a little bit of your grease. Clean that. You can use it later. I'll clean it later for you. Any hammer joint? No, we'll just use this to tap it in. So I'm going to set this on the side like this. So 
I have to kind of wiggle it how we got it in before. So, this is going to have to go down here like that. Once the clutch line nut is secured, we use the 10 millimeter flare nut wrench to tighten up the clutch line. I had to stick my hand under the brake master cylinder to try and wiggle the clutch master cylinder back into position. Kind of pull the, don't pull too hard, but just kind of pull it and guide it in. Is the studs lining up in the hole? No, no, way off. You gotta turn it on. But there's one, one there. Now the other one has to go down. Down, down. Okay guys, here's the pin I was telling you about. You could probably remove it from here. If you can get the pin from here, then you probably wouldn't have to do what we did, which is having to bend the clutch line to get the clutch master cylinder out. Now we're tightening a 12 millimeter bolt on top of the clutch pedal bracket. Here I'm trying to line up the clutch rod with the clutch pedal so I would be able to get that pin back in. Now I'm just putting back the lock pin. Okay. Once everything is put back together, we filled the clutch reservoir with Honda brake fluid dot three. Now we are opening the clutch safe cylinder valve to bleed the system. We are using an 8mm wrench, but we notice an 8mm gear wrench works good in this very tight area. Once the valve is cracked open, here we are using the gravity drain method to bleed the clutch system. You want to see almost kind of a steady stream of fluid coming out of the valve. Make sure to keep the clutch reservoir topped off. When there is a steady stream of brake fluid going through the valve, we closed off the valve. Once everything was put back together, we couldn't get the clutch to engage when the car was started. We went back to the clutch pedal and removed the pin to adjust the clutch master cylinder rod. We adjusted the rod a few turns out. Once that was done, the clutch engaged perfectly. Before I forget, I wanted to mention there is a 12 millimeter nut behind this rod. That 12 millimeter nut has to be loosened okay, so you can adjust the rod. The and once that is done, go ahead and tighten it up with the 12 millimeter wrench. Thanks for watching our video. If you hadn't yet subscribed, please hit the like and subscribe button below. Oh yeah, don't forget to comment and share this video.